I'm creating this video as a warning to current T-Motor FA propeller users and people considering to buy them because in my opinion these propellers are severely uh, under-engineered. The screws that hold the propeller blades in, the diameter of them are much too small for the rated thrust that T-Motor has given all the different propeller diameters. Um, as you can see in my hand, this is a 22 inch propeller and it uses M3 screws. Sure enough, I'm, I'm using these on MN605 motors which produce about 8 kilograms of thrust. These propellers are supposedly rated to 11 kilograms and sure enough on my first hard test flight, three propellers failed all in the first flight and as you can see here, the M3 screw just sheared. And if you kind of just do the basic math on it, the forces that would be within that screw at 8 kilograms of thrust and flying forward through the air are way higher than that M3 screw can handle. So it's not really surprising um, that it failed, really. So I made this chart here. Hopefully you can see this well enough. But these are just some of the propeller sizes T-Motor has, the rated thrust, their current screw size, and then just doing some basic math, these are kind of the screw sizes that should be used based on the rated thrust. So like for the 22 inch propeller that I'm using, it really should be an M5 screw. There's a chance an M4 may work, but it's kind of borderline. So I don't understand why they wouldn't just put a beefier screw in. Yes, it's maybe going to add a few grams to the propeller, but I'm pretty sure people would be much happier knowing that the propeller is not going to fail versus trying to save a couple grams and risk that screw failing and having a catastrophic drone failure. Now, one thing that you should be really considering, I'm going to talk about uh, the folding propeller adapters because this is a really critical part to any folding propeller design. And sure enough, whether or not T-Motor did this on purpose or not, but they do have some good things that they've added in and some bad things that I'll talk about after. Whenever you're looking for a folding propeller, in my opinion, it's absolutely critical that the folding propeller adapter has additional screws in the center that hold the top and bottom plate together. This is a great safety mechanism uh, in case one of these screws ever failed. And in my case, I had five propeller uh, adapters or screws fail and I never lost my drone. And the reason being is, I'll show you. So in this case, I've taken out those screws in the middle. So if I put the propeller on the motor, what's gonna happen in the air is if this, this screw shears, there's a drag force on this propeller which is going to cause the propeller and the top adapter which are, there's no nut on the bottom hole to get in but because there's friction in there, the propeller is actually going to stay attached uh, to this top plate and it's going to end up swinging around and essentially folding midair as this is spinning. This folding action is going to cause a severe imbalance to the propeller and likely rip your drone arm apart and it's very likely your flight controller isn't going to be able to handle this amount of vibration and your drone is going to crash. Now thankfully, like you can see in their adapters, they have those screws in the middle. So if these screws ever fail, it actually holds the, the plates together so this won't fold back. The propeller blade will stay extended and in my case, yes, I could hear a slight hissing in the air because there's wobble in the blade, but I was able to safely land every time. Um, now the, I'll just show you. So here's the 20, this is from a 28 inch propeller and it's the exact same design. It has the screws in the middle, which is good. Uh, but still, they only use M4 screws like I showed in this, which is definitely nowhere near enough uh, for a 20 kilogram plus rated thrust. I'd be scared to use this on any more than maybe nine kilograms. So maybe these adapters are fine if we're using them in very low thrust ratings. If I had to guess, Maybe they're good for half of the rated thrust in their current configuration. Um, but I'd also be careful in the, I know in the 18 inch and smaller, they don't have the screws in the middle. So in my opinion, I would never use the 18 inch and less. I think once you get it 20 plus, they put the screws in the middle, which is kind of nice. Now I'll talk about a couple of the negative things about these adapters or one more positive first, I guess. So what they've done here, which is kind of interesting, this is one of the adapters, is they've actually press fit uh, the screws into the top plate, which is kind of nice because that's actually what prevents the blade from flying off if uh, this ever swings around, which is kind of a good thing. Uh, but the problem is, as you can see when I put this blade on, 
is the only way to tighten the uh, propeller blade, if it ever gets loose or if it's loosened if it's too tight, is you have to adjust the nut on the bottom. And the problem is, when you put the propeller blade on, there's no way to adjust it. So if you live in an environment where there's constantly fluctuating temperatures, this typically results in the propeller blades loosening and tightening by themselves. So you always have to be con you have to be able to constantly adjust them. Now I feel like they could pretty easily fix this by just instead of press fitting the screw through the top, if they were to press fit it through the bottom of the adapter, you could put the nut on top and then you'd have access to adjustment. So anyways, I really hope they fix this and beef up these screws because Honestly, these propeller blades are amazing. I've been using the polished T-Mode propellers for about, oh, I don't know, seven years now, and they've kind of been the golden standard. They work well. But I found that these propeller blades, A, are balanced better, B, produce about 2 to 5% more thrust and are about 2 to 5% more efficient. But the biggest benefit about these, and I'm guessing it has to do with the uh, winglet design, is they are significantly quieter and is much more enjoyable experience to fly these uh, in close proximity to people and they don't piss off people when you're flying big drones around them. So anyways, hopefully fix it.